Today I wanted to talk about intuitive eating. It's kind of all over the internet now and you know guys I always advocate for intuitive eating and eating till we are full but what does it really mean? Intuitive eating is about trusting your body to make food choices that feel good for you without judging yourself or the influence of diet culture. The emphasis is on you. I assume if you clicked on this video, you're the type of person who likes to watch what I eat in a day and what I eat in a week and shorts on TikTok about food and it can be really fun but the comparison is always there and just so you know my video is not to tell you how to eat at all, it's just an inspiration and I'm just showing you what feels good to me and it doesn't have to feel good to you. You don't even have to eat the way anyone does because intuitive eating looks different for everyone. You don't need to drink green juice to be healthy if it's not something you resonate with. Just find the foods you love and that make you feel happy and just do you. For me it's always about giving my body love and fuel so it can work properly. So this week I'm just eating whatever the hell I want and whatever I want to. And yes, you might think being vegan is restrictive. For me, it's simply an ethical decision, even though it may seem that I restrict myself because I don't include animal products in my diet, it doesn't mean that I don't eat in abundance and I truly eat what I crave and what I want and it makes me feel better than ever. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Dream. After having this amazing sweet potato toast, with, which was one of the best things I've ever made for breakfast, it was so yummy. My favorite was probably the peanut butter jelly because, well, it's really hard to beat peanut butter jelly, but the tofu one was very good as well. For lunch, I made a chickpea mash from a kind of chickpeas deal, vegan mm. mayo, an avocado and some salt and pepper. And believe me when I tell you, this might be the single best thing I had all week. I am not a huge fan of deal, but in this dish, it's a must. It complements the chickpea so well. I mean, just do yourself a favor and make this one for you. You won't regret it. My love language is so good. Your time and attention. Mm. Won't you give some of I it? Love you. I used to work out to look good not to feel good. I used to eat well because I just felt guilty for eating junk food and then I overindulged on ice cream or whatever I found in the cupboards which is not a bad thing but it didn't make me feel better. It had nothing to do with me wanting to give myself love but it was everything to do with me refusing to love myself. I just got home, I already showered and I'm all cozied up and this is here. Say hi, baby. No, I'm gonna do something for dinner, but I'm really not hungry, but I know if I don't eat anything, I'm gonna be hungry before I go to bed and that's no good. She is so cute, aren't you? Is your love so cute. and affection? Won't you give some of it to me? Yeah, I need you present. We have this leftover chickpea mash, which is bomb to say the least i have some watermelon it's the first time i eat this year so i'm very excited and then this is what my stomach wanted you know intuitive eating guys this is just what i wanted Even when I completely abandoned my body, even when I was ill, hangover, sleep deprived, stressed out as hell, ran on too many coffees and too little food, my heart never, not even for a second, stopped beating. My lungs never gave up. I could always breathe. I could always go on and on. It's here for me. It has always been here for me, no matter what I put it through. I think intuitive eating is nothing else but recognizing that your body is not your enemy and it doesn't need restrictions to be healthy. When my skin breaks out, it doesn't do it to make me feel insecure. Although I am insecure when my skin doesn't look good, but I cannot blame my body for it. It happens to show me something is out of balance. When I gain fat, it doesn't do it to hurt me. It does it so I have long-term energy supply. 
when my brain cannot function even after three coffees it doesn't do it because my body wants me to fail my exam it just needs sleep to recover it isn't your enemy in fact it's just trying to undo all the damage we've been doing to it I think intuitively moving your body is just as important as intuitively fueling it. I always try to work out in a way that feels best for me. Especially if you're a woman, you'll have different energy levels throughout the month and you might feel doing a hardcore Pamela Rife week and then just doing some yoga or pilates or nothing at all. And that is completely okay. You don't always have to do a hardcore ab workout. Just do what feels best for you. <laughs> and just try new things because you never know. It might be your new favorite thing to do. I started to play tennis lately and it has been such a fun experience. Although I'm very, very bad at it, I still enjoy it so much. We are going strong with a good old oatmeal that morning, simple but always delicious. I sometimes add some protein powder in as well but this morning I just added yogurt on top with some peaches and raspberries. I also find it makes a huge difference to add a mesh banana as a natural sweetener. Never disappoints. I had a dream last night, it was different. It was you and I and faded television. I'm not in love with you, love with you. But if I was, here's what I'd do. Here's what I'd do. If I was in love with you, torn up sheets, all the feathers. There's a picket fence somewhere, nothing better. A dose of Chanel perfume and coffee in the afternoon. You way ahead of the side, flip it in the mirror and say you get it right. My pillow's in the shape of you. After having the best avocado toast in my entire life, I mean it was creamy, crunchy, and the pomegranate seeds went so well here. I made some creamy gnocchi for dinner. I sauteed garlic, I would have added onions, but I didn't have any. I also added mushrooms, some broccoli, again, I only had frozen, so that's what I used, and a bunch of spices. I think the key ingredients here are nutritional yeast, coconut milk, and the curry powder. Mix these three and you'll get an amazing pasta sauce. I personally love gnocchi, but you can add this to some pasta or even rice and have it as a curry. I was so, so full after this. Will you ever know what I went through? Will you wake up in my bed in the afternoon? And I hope that they still remember it too. Even though I'm so grateful for this body I have today, it is just a frame for my soul. For my personality, my thoughts, my feelings, my expressions, my flaws, my consciousness, the endless love I have inside. It's no more than a frame. And even though frames can be beautiful and can make the painting look so much better and more complete, the painting itself is inside. Underneath it all, we are unlimited. I'm not defined by my body, it just gives me the opportunity to experience all the beauty life has to offer. We are so much more than just the frame. I had a dream last night, it was different. It was you and I and faded television. I'm not in love with you, love with you. But if I was, here's what I'd do. Here's what I'd do. And it makes me really sad that we as a society, especially social media, gives too much credit for how we look, but not enough for what's inside. But luckily it's changing. Beauty standards are shifting. We give space to every color, every body size, and it couldn't make me happier. Truly, beauty comes from within. And there's no one shape that's beautiful. We need to embrace all of us because Every single person is a beautiful, unique, individual soul and no one can be replaced. Imagine a world without those numbers. No calories, no weight, no height, just embracing our beautiful bodies. You can create that world in your own life. Be the lighthouse, show people who struggle that you can do it this way too. You can fall in love with you and it's okay to gain or lose weight, who cares? Your worth stays just the same. Maybe I'm not sure, so why don't you change my mind? Cause baby I'm not sure, but let's take a chance this time. And I can remember the last time I saw you cry. I don't wanna do it, I had to, you know it. I hate when we say goodbye.
all one taste Fell real love, funny how that shit changed I know I was lost but I found my way Working out for me is therapy The feeling I get after it is the reason I'm doing it every time Do I always want to move? <laughs> of course not But it's only the first minute that's going to be hard the rest is so much easier and I have never, ever regret moving my body. It heals for free. My mom is a psychologist and she always tells me that before prescribing antidepressants to people, the first thing she does before prescribing any medication is making sure that they move their body first. Because it can be so healing. With just 30 minutes of exercise a day, you can change your mood, your mindset, your life. Moving your body should not be a chore. If it feels that way for you, just find a new form of exercise that you enjoy. That gives you the endorphin rush. When I don't feel like moving my body, dance is always a good way to start for me. It gives such a liberating feeling. So that's what I did. And then I was already in the motion, so I made some more ab exercises. I think this is a perfect example of intuitive moving because I just had so much fun and pain but mostly fun and pain is part of the fun so i'm not saying i'm bored of regular pancakes but this week i felt like experimenting so instead of just stacking them on top of each other i made these pancake tacos the batter is so easy a mashed banana one and a half cups of oat flour one cup of oat milk a teaspoon of baking powder a teaspoon of cinnamon and a pinch of salt i always let it sit for 10 minutes or so just so the oats can absorb some liquids and make it thicker and i fried them on a medium heat okay taste test Mm. Oh my god! I fill these beauties with coconut yogurt, raspberries, peaches, and some vegan dark chocolate to make it extra fun. Lunch was a quick but very delicious stir fry. I found these chumi noodles. I'm not even gonna pretend I know how to pronounce this. But it was so good. I fried red onions with a bunch of spices, added broccoli and mushrooms and made these amazing crispy saucy tofus. First I baked them for 15 minutes in the oven on 180 Celsius degrees. Then I covered them with sriracha, agave, curry powder, soy sauce, rice vinegar and some cornstarch and let them heat up for a minute. I made some sauce for the noodles as well from sriracha, vegan sour cream, soy sauce and rice vinegar. Mixed everything together and had two balls of this amazing food. Summer rain on a window Watch the time float on If you know me, you know I love chickpeas, so I had to try this chickpea chocolate. I baked a can of chickpeas with cinnamon in the oven for around 40 to 50 minutes on 200 Celsius degrees until they became really crispy. Melted up some vegan dark chocolate, added a spoonful of peanut butter and poured it over the chickpeas. I then freeze this for 15 minutes and the results were insane. Look at my hands, that's a good hand. Oh my god. When dinner came, I was not overly hungry, so I made my favorite chocolate banana smoothie from oatmeal, bananas, coconut powder, coconut powder, cocoa powder, and peanut butter. I blended it up, it was such a treat. I also had some watermelon with it and mmm amazing night. I used to work out because I knew if I push myself hard enough I'll gain muscle and finally my legs won't look as skinny as before and then maybe I'll be enough for others. Maybe I'll get the validation I need. And guess what? No matter how much weight I gained, no matter how much muscle I built, I always found something else to hate about me. If it were my legs, it were my arms. If it were my boobs, it were my eyes or my skin. If it wasn't my short hair, it was my long hair. No matter how I changed my outside, it did not look better from the inside. Because truly I didn't need others' validation. I just needed my own. And then I realized in order to love the way I look, I don't have to do anything from the outside. It 
doesn't matter what I see in the mirror. Even if I was a Victoria's Secret supermodel, I would still be able to find all the things I don't like about me because I came from a place of hatred. You cannot change your body by hating it. And even though it took me so, so much time to make peace with mine, I finally did and I know that my body is a gift and nothing else. Okay, get ready for a new obsession. This baked oats recipe is the best I've ever made. It's ooey, it's gooey, and on top of that, it's also kind of good for you. Mash a ripe banana in a bowl, add a half a cup of oat flour, half a cup of oat milk, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and a tablespoon of cocoa powder. Mix it until it's well combined, and then top it with some banana and chocolate, or frozen forest fruits work also mm. very well here and let it sit for a few minutes then put it in the microwave i left it there for four minutes but every microwave is different so just keep an eye out demolished later i attempted to make a matcha ice cream from only four ingredients two and a half frozen bananas a can of coconut milk that was in the fridge for overnight a teaspoon of cinnamon and a tablespoon of matcha powder Mix that until it was smooth and poured it into a freezable glass container and left it in the freezer for overnight. Couldn't be easier. Since it was my brother's birthday, I made one of his favorites, a broccoli casserole. Now I do realize at this point I must have had broccoli and mushrooms almost every day, but this week just turned out that way. And you know, I'm not mad about it because broccoli and mushrooms are one of my favorite combinations. They just happen to be in this dish, so... I added a head of broccoli and 500 grams of mushrooms to a large baking sheet along with cooked brown rice. I made a sauce from soaked cashews, curry powder, turmeric powder, coconut milk, nutritional yeast, salt and pepper. All the measurements are down below. I put it onto the veggie mix and topped it with breadcrumbs. For his birthday, I made a mango strawberry crepe cake because mango is his favorite and we also love crepes in this family so I figured it's a nice combination. It was definitely time consuming but so worth it. I made a lot of crepes, I mean a lot of crepes, around 30. I let them cool off completely and meanwhile I made the best best mango cream ever i used two ripe mangoes vegan mascarpone lemon zest and vanilla sugar and mixed them well it was such a refreshing summery taste i could just eat it on its own as a pudding then i made the same with strawberries and assembled the cake a layer of mango cream a crepe a layer of strawberry cream and so on I coated the whole thing with the remaining mango cream and topped it with some random raspberries because I couldn't figure out a better way to decorate it to be honest and put it in the fridge to set. I don't want your optimism today I just want to complain It takes a whole damn hour to afford two gallons and I'm not doing enough for now the day and now the challenge I woke up one day and the world was cold Feel like I'm way too young to fill this old I got a hole in my heart that keeps getting bigger so I'll try to fill it up by rooting in my liver I'm a poster child, millennial Feel like I'm way too young to fill this old Oh, 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 yeah, yeah Oh, 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 yeah Everyone's invited to this we had a low-key night, had some delicious pasta and an amazing mango and raspberry ice cream. Wow, well not complaining about this day, it was a treat. For breakfast I tried something new again with the pancake batter. I made these cute little pancake cereal things, which were so so good. I added a bunch of bananas and raspberries, it was a really special way to start my day.
for lunch I made some really amazing potato fries seasoned with pepper, salt, garlic and curry powder. I baked them in the oven for around 25 minutes on 180 Celsius degrees. I also made a really quick random salad from some mixed leaves, corn, poured on a quick salad dressing that I made from extra virgin olive oil, curry powder, salt, pepper, Italian herbs, garlic powder and this vegan cheese sauce. I also did nutritional yeast, some cooked chickpeas and some flower seeds. I have these with some raspberry jam, IKEA plant balls and corn. I love them. life can be hard sometimes or maybe most of the times and it's really difficult to remember that we don't have to solve every single one of our problems in one day we get to solve them one day at a time and evolve along the way I no longer think there is a destination to get to when it comes to my goals as cliche as it sounds it's still true it's the journey what matters and not the destination eat what you want be who you want to be do what you love Start doing things for you rather than doing things that people expect from you. I have always been fixated on my goals. When I'll get there, I'll be happy. It's okay that I don't enjoy my life right now because when I have X, I will enjoy it. When I have that amount of money or a dead body, I'll finally get to be happy. When someone finally accepts me as I am, I'll finally be enough for myself. But it's never about the end goal. It's about learning from all the mistakes you've done and celebrating every little success. No matter how little it may seem to others, still be proud of you because you are doing a damn good job. It's about evolving and learning to love ourselves and making new friends, new memories. Don't forget to stop and breathe once in a while and just don't forget to love yourselves before you love anyone else. Sending you all the love and sunshine. Bye guys. Pretty blue jeans and me.